Have you ever had to make a decision you just didn't know which way to go? Maybe there was two paths and both seem great, but how do you pick? I know I've been there before and I've had to find and figure out ways to be able to navigate that. See, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is a coaching breakthrough with my client, how to pick an asset class for financial freedom. All right, so I wanna share with you a breakthrough or breakthroughs my client had on our call and I'm not gonna give any of his personal information or details around it. I'll go high level macro. I don't like to do that without the individual's permission and I didn't ask permission. Um, but here's what happened on our call. He's a business owner doing really good. When we first started coaching, he was in his business a lot. Over the last year, we helped him become completely free. He only steps in when he wants or if someone like an upper management's out, but he's really basically free from his business which is awesome we helped him get there went through a lot of roadblocks mental blocks around that thinking like maybe some of you who have a business out there you might be thinking well no one can do it as good as me what if I lose control what if they mess this thing up that I worked so hard and so many years to build right so anyway we worked through all of that and now he's on the second half of his business journey and what I mean by that is he's like okay I got time I have money but what do I do from here on out? What's gonna fulfill me? I remember it was about a, probably a month ago we had a call and we were working on some of the opportunities that he had available, different paths he could walk down. Here's the thing, there was a limiting belief that held him back from actually choosing the path he's on now. He wanted this one path, but there was a limiting belief that we had to kind of peel back the layers and really find out what's going on there. And we actually started to extract that limiting belief. We, we created new beliefs and transformed. And so he made his decision around that. But that's not what the video is about. Here's where it became powerful on our call. He picked real estate. And what I did was I actually said to him, you know, go his action steps on one of our calls was to go out, research all the asset classes in real estate, because that's what really got him excited. That was how he's going to generate long term wealth and financial freedom at the next level for him. And so anyway, what he did is he came back. Yeah, I told him by our next call, you have to have two asset classes you're really excited about. He came back, he was really excited about these two, but as we were talking through it, he didn't know which one to pick. How many of you have ever been in a position where you have two really good things available to choose from, you just don't know which one to pick, right? And so in this case, in real estate, it was around short-term and mid-term rentals and a commercial investment, right? Um, kind of like a triple net lease, a building and whatnot. And so he was excited about both the information he gathered. We had him actually go out and connect with people who own both um, aspects, the short term and the commercial. And so he started connecting with people, learning about the pros and cons of each and everything. And, and we also have a clear goal on what he's looking to achieve, a financial number for him, a time freedom number, location freedom, all that good stuff. We'll jump into that another time. But here's what started to happen is when we started talking about which asset class, he's like, well, here's what he shared. He said, I don't want to make a mistake on picking an asset class. And then I also want to make sure that the money that I saved up that I'm going to invest, I get the best ROI. And when you think about that normally, you're like, okay, that makes sense, right? You want to pick the best for ROI and, and you want to make sure that you don't mess up in your, you know, whatever asset class you pick. But here's what I shared with him, that the statement that he does it, he wants to make the best ROI on that because that's all the money he had to invest was actually a limiting statement. It was a limiting belief and here's why. Because what he's actually saying to his unconscious mind is that the amount of money he has saved up is all the money that he's ever gonna have to invest in the future. And it's like, he does pretty well with the amount of income he has in his other business that comes in. Not to mention people he knows and connections and how he can raise money to do deals or partner with other people. And so I actually told him that was a limiting belief, a limiting statement from him and he's like, he didn't see it that way. He didn't understand it when he was saying it, but then he was like, oh, I see it, right? If you think that's all the amount of money you're ever gonna have to invest, you're not gonna, you're not gonna really wanna put effort in other areas and or you won't even take that first step. 
Does that make sense? And so we started working through that and unpacking that a little bit more. I, I love doing relationship analogies, dating analogies, and when it was coming to the asset class, what we started to, as we peeled back and figuring out what what's the resistance, what's the misalignment, what's the, the why is his foot on the brake around making a decision around this? It wasn't a state issue where he had to be in state to make the decision. As we peeled it back, what what really came out from that was that he believed that whatever path he picked, he had to go down it the whole way. And now, yes, you need to focus on one thing and become a master at it and this and that, but he's just getting in the real estate game. And so I shared with him a quick analogy that he's, he's married, but I said, remember when you were younger, before you were married, if you had two beautiful girls that wanted to go out with you, who do you know who to pick? Who do you know who to date? You have to spend time with one of them and then you can decide whether you wanna go on that second date with the other girl or not. Because when it comes to real estate investing, if you're excited about both, you have to date both. And so for him, what it did was it unlocked this blockage, right? It's got him to see things a different way. The first impact around this is accountability, holding his feet to the fire, right? The second component is about shifting the way he looks at things, right? I saw this picture one time of a guy, he went like, this and it looks like you give the middle finger and if you're looking at me from this way it looks like i'm giving you the middle finger but if i just actually shift your perception and move you instead of my hand you would see i'm just holding up three fingers kind of like doing the okay sign right and so perception is everything we unlocked a different view mentally for him what he come to what he came to realize was actually that he wasn't locked in on this path commercial or short-term rental it was, he's gonna pick one to invest in and see he's dating this first deal. He's not making a marriage covenant, you know, before God around, this is what I'm doing forever and nothing's gonna stray from me and I'm not going in any other asset class. No, 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 no. He's gonna choose either commercial or short-term rental and he's gonna date it. If he has a great experience, guess what? He could do it again. He could go out on a second date. If he doesn't like the second date, he's like, hey, you know what, I thought it was nice, the first date was good, but the second deal, the second date, mm, just revealed some things that I don't really enjoy. Let me go actually on a date with this other girl, this other asset class. And for him, it unlocked a different perception. So now he didn't feel like he was going to choose the right or wrong one, but he was going to date and explore and get to know each one on a deeper level. Now, there's people out there, they go on a date, they go on a second date, they're like, this is amazing, and they get married, and they commit, they make that covenant before God, right? And some people do that in real estate. They say, this is my path, and this is what I'm solely investing in. This is what I'm solely going to commit to. This is my path to create financial freedom. There's no right or wrong in asset classes. You might be excited about all of them. And what I would say is, and this is just my perspective, right? I would say is, if you can, date all of them. Now, that doesn't mean you have to invest in all these different areas. Especially economically, you can invest time. You can go in and help people in short-term rentals managing it. You can invest, you can spend time investing your time around raising capital. You can spend your time working on uh, acquisitions or multifamily or self-storage. There's so many different ways that you can date different asset classes before you decide, hey, here's my top two. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to pick one. Which one excites me the most? What's gonna bring in the biggest ROI? And for this client, his goal to financial freedom is to maximize his cash flow. Now, the other thing I told him is the probability of him hitting a home run, his first deal, it's there, but it's a lower probability, right? Like if you think about Major League Baseball, people getting caught up from the minors or first time, you know, at the plate, they're, they might be nervous, excited. How many of those actually hit a home run their first at bat. Very, very few throughout history. And so I'm not being a Debbie Downer. I'm not being negative to my client. What I'm doing is setting realistic expectations that it's okay to hit a single, double, triple. Maybe you will hit a home run. The possibility's on the table, but I wouldn't expect only that. Does that make sense? And so when we wanna walk in with proper expectations and then if we exceed it, we celebrate it. 
And so for him, that's where he's at. He's picking his asset class. I told him you have 48 hours to pick the class and to go learn everything you can to go talk to brokers or you know a real estate agent, depending on who it is. So if you find yourself in this path, maybe it's in businesses, which business to buy or which business to look at or path, or maybe it's, you know, should I start a business? Should I invest some real estate? Maybe you need to pick asset class as like my, my, uh, my client. Look, again, remember the mindset shift is that you're committing. It isn't you're committing forever. It's you're going to date and explore and test and find out the good and the bad and the ugly. And, and then if you find out, yes, I really like this, you can go all in on it like a marriage. If you find that you don't like it, you may go a different direction and start dating another asset class or another business model for you. You don't have to be locked in forever. This is what happens to a lot of people. They get locked in this mindset that I gotta be able to just, I'm committing to this and only this. There's many theories out there. Pick one path and go all the way. And then I know other people that have the the approach or the theory of I'm an opportunist, whatever comes my way. If it's a single family home, great. A multifamily apartment complex, great. Self storage, great. Whatever opportunities on the table that makes sense. Look, you can do all of that. You can do whatever you want. I'm just saying from what I've seen from people who are masters in what they do, they usually the first step is picking a path that they fall in love with and they can master. And the reason why I say you gotta fall in love with it and you enjoy it and it's exciting to you because the 80-20 rule applies in everything, marriage, children, health, everything, finances, 80% of the time, it's great. 20% of the time, things are rough, they stink, right? And that's just the name of the game. And so you gotta make sure that you are excited about it, you enjoy it so that as you're going through that 20%, you keep moving forward instead of, hey, I'm just doing it for the money, I'm just doing it for the cash flow. And if a speed bump comes, you're like, man, I don't even know if I wanna do this anymore. I've seen it time and time again. And so yes, in the beginning, I would encourage you your first step, become figure out what you enjoy, become a master in that, or at least learn all the ins and outs. And then if you want to step into the path of being an opportunist, you know, hey, this or that, go for it. I very rarely see people who have their hands in 10 different things that are right out of the gate when they enter the business world or the marketplace that are successful, very rarely because you wanna channel all that energy into what you're doing and becoming really good at it, right? I didn't, I wasn't studying and mastering marketing when I started my coaching journey, right? Nothing else was in my life except mastering coaching and becoming a great coach to help unlock people for their freedom, their their destinies, their new identities, etc. And so I had to focus on that. Now I get to expand in the real estate, I get to expand in businesses, I get to expand in consulting and mentorship. There's a and pickleball. And there's so many different areas I get to go play in now because I've mastered this area and I get to help unlock people and it brings in an income that allows me to make an impact also. And so that's the greatest reward that you can have is when you can make an income and an impact. And so that's why I do these videos. That's why they're free because I wanna help unlock people. Okay, so that was my client's breakthrough. Super excited for him. Maybe I'll do an update video down in the road when he closes his first deal and he's bringing in, you know, three, five, ten grand a month passively around real estate outside of his business because he's not about the money. Yes, the money helps, you know, secure you with financial freedom and all. But what he's after is actually being excellent at what he does and finding what fulfills him and excites him. That's why all the successful people like Elon Musk or Mark Cuban, they don't just do it for the money. They have plenty of it. They're doing it because it fulfills them. They're doing it because they want to be great at what they do. You can't, you can't buy that. Right? It's something that's got to be cultivated within you. It's a mindset you need to develop. So with that being said, if you're someone that's like, man, I need that mindset. I need to shift some things. I need to make decisions that are going to unlock a healthy future for me. If that's you, maybe you need some coaching. Maybe you need to work with one of our coaches. We've just gotten into two companies that we brought our coaching into. Or we're bringing all of our coaches into different companies and coaching their employees and clients. And it's exciting to see what people are doing and the breakthroughs and the success that they're having through our coaching. And if you wanna work with me, I only actually have one spot, one opening left. 
But look, I will share with you, and I was sharing this with a friend, that client I help, if let's just say, let's just say he starts cash flowing $1,000 a month off his investment. It'll be more, but let's just say that. That would be 12,000 a year. And over the course of a decade, it'd be on just under $150,000. How long do you think it would have took him to make that shift in his mind, if ever? Because when we ha- we were getting ready to hang up the phone, he said, man, it's something I probably would have shared with other people, but I just couldn't see it for myself. And I had a great mentor, I wish I would have had this example, he put a black trash bag over him. He said, when you're in your stuff, you can't see. And he started walking around bumping into things. He says, you need an outside perspective. Someone that could come in and poke a hole through that trash bag, and then you could kind of see through that hole, right? But then he's like, and then at call after call, that hole starts to open and widen until all of a sudden he ripped the trash bag off. He's like, you're no longer in your stuff. He's like, that's when you can accelerate your success. He's like, that's why coaching is so powerful. And so, yeah, maybe it took him a decade to learn. It would have cost him $150,000, probably more if you factor in depreciation, how much he saves on taxes, and then the appreciation if he sold it 10 years later, probably well over $250,000. I'm like, look, if he paid 20 grand for coaching for the year, is that worth it? You know? And so what's that, a 12X return plus? It's like, come on. Most successful people make decisions based on where they're going, not their current circumstances. So that's you. Go to masterlifebydesign.com, go to programs, and then I think it's coaching. You can fill out the application and someone will reach out to you to find out where are you looking to explore? Where are you looking to accelerate? What do you want to create? How much do you want to create? What's that look like? So I hope you found value in today's video. It's again, it's a testimony to helping my client unlock the next thing for him, the next path that's fulfilling and exciting that will lead to long-term financial wealth and also give financial uh, freedom to that next level. And if you haven't watched the four financial levels to financial freedom, you may wanna check out that video. So if you found value in today's video, give it a thumbs up, comment below. What, was that a breakthrough for you? What did you take away that was a nugget for you? Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button over here or over here. I don't know. Hit that notification button so you know when these videos are coming out and so that you can be able to get the next tips, tricks, breakthrough mindset, shifts, you know, strategies, whatever it is that is going to help you unlock your path to financial freedom. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.